What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the new limited time mode in Warzone, or relatively new, it's been around for a few days now, and this is Payload. And the reason I wanted to mention this one specifically, I don't normally make videos just discussing a new limited time mode, but the reason I want to cover this one is this is unlike anything we've seen in Warzone before. This isn't even a battle royale experience, this is something totally different. I found it very nice and refreshing to try something completely new that we've never seen before in Warzone. And I've actually been seeing a lot of negativity around this mode, and I'm not understanding much of it, at least. So for those that don't know, this payload game mode is an escort and defense style game mode that takes place on a section of the Verdansk map. Now, so far, at least, I've played in three different areas. I played in Port, which you're seeing right here, which, by the way, this is actually my very first game of Payload, so I was still trying to figure out what's going on. And I didn't fully understand the mode at the time. and didn't have any good setups built specifically for this mode. But I've played at Port, Downtown, as well as Promenade. There may be other areas as well, or maybe those are the only three. I'm not too sure at this point. But essentially, one side is trying to escort the payload, or two cargo trucks essentially, from point A to point B. And those cargo trucks will move by themselves. You don't have to, like, hop in as a driver of those and try and drive them. You just have to stand near them, and it will start escorting them. Just like many payload-type game modes in the past, like Safeguard and older Call of Duty games. Or in COD World War II, in the war mode, there were sometimes some sections we had to escort a tank. It's just really similar to that. And they follow a set path, and along the way you can build barricades or buy various items that can help you defend against these trucks that are pushing up. Now this is a respawn game mode, so if you die, you just have to wait a little bit, there's a little bit of a respawn timer, and then you come back to life and you're back in the fight as many times as you want. And it's also teams of 20, so it's 20 versus 20 here. And I also forgot to mention this is comprised of two different halves, so you take turns, one team will start off attacking, and then the next round they will end up defending in that same map in the same location. So yeah, this is obviously not a Battle Royale mode, this is nothing like Battle Royale, and yet it has all the same mechanics as the Battle Royale, so you still have the armor mechanics and stuff, and that's what separates this from, like, Ground War, for instance, in regular Modern Warfare multiplayer. And I think this is what I find to be so refreshing about this mode. You've got the time to kill and the armor plates and stuff of Warzone, so we're not just dealing with the multiplayer values where you can get instantly melted from super far away. You have those Warzone mechanics in place. And it's a very linear mode as well, so it's fairly basic and easy to pick up. You generally know the direction the enemies are going to be coming from, because they have their half of the map, you have your half of the map. And a lot of the fighting is focused around these payloads, but they do leave enough room on the map to do a bit of flanking as well, which I also like. It's not too linear and not too restricted, but they do keep the fighting within a fairly small area at the same time. And with this, I find it to be very enjoyable for just practicing Warzone-style gunfights, messing around with different loadouts for Warzone, as well as working on camo challenges and working on unlocking weapons as well. If you're somebody that only has Warzone and never bought Modern Warfare or Cold War, this would be a great opportunity to unlock some of the weapons if you don't have them unlocked yet, because you can complete many of the multiplayer-style challenges in this without any issue. But yeah, that's pretty much what this mode is about. It's fairly basic. And I like a lot of what they've done with this. I'm not saying it's perfect, and I will share some of my feedback and constructive criticism here as well. But even some of the minor details, like the fact that you can't use fully loaded on a sniper rifle, or you can, but it won't actually work and give you fully loaded, I think that's actually well thought out, and that's a good idea. If you had the ability to have fully loaded, then there'd be tons of sniper ammo around, and then both teams would end up just sniping back and forth. And I already found that there's a decent amount of sniping, but when you spawn, you only get the magazine that you spawn with when it comes to the sniper rifle, even if you're using fully loaded. And I personally think that's great, otherwise it would just evolve into a snipe fest. Now, like I said, I do have a few criticisms with this mode. The first one is pretty big and can definitely be game-breaking if this happens in your game. At least from what I've seen so far, there is no ability to join games in progress, which might sound like a good thing, but this also means if your teammates leave, nobody's going to fill their spot. And I did get one game the other day when I was streaming this where more than half of my team left and the other team, it seemed like they were all still there all the way through the match. And therefore, there was literally zero chance for us to win. There, there's no way that eight people can hold off 20. It's just not going to be happening. And it is frustrating because at that point, the game is a write-off. Like, you might as well just leave the game yourself. Or you can stick in and just try and complete some camo challenges or just sort of mess around and go for kills, knowing that you've got no chance of really winning. Going off of that same thing, something that I have heard about this mode, but I personally don't experience because I just mute everybody, but I heard about this and it does sound annoying, you can't go and mute individual people on your team while playing this, so you either have to mute everybody, 
or you have to deal with people that might be blasting music into their mics or screaming into their mics or you know any type of person in cod that you would want to mute which there are tons of different types of people you'd want to mute in cod you can't do that in this game mode Aside from those things, I'm actually quite impressed with how they've handled this. It seems like it's not the type of mode they just randomly threw together, altered a couple different rule sets from Battle Royale, and then called it a new mode. They actually have, like, unique animations for building the towers, and it seems like a fair amount of care went into creating this. Now, having said that, all of this positive feedback that I have is thinking about this mode as a limited time experience. I enjoy this as a limited time mode in Warzone, I don't think it would have too much lasting power and replayability unless they were to expand to more areas of the map and maybe do some other things with it. So I'm not saying that I want this mode to stick around forever or anything, but I just think it would be nice to see this return at some point, preferably with a few improvements like having the ability for players to join in late and fill games, and then having the ability to mute teammates. But yeah, aside from that, I just gotta say, I'm not quite understanding where a lot of the hate for this mode is coming from. I do think part of it is coming from the fact that this replaced Resurgence Quads, and in that sense, I guess I see it because a lot of people really love Resurgence Quads and they wish it was around all the time. And then as an alternative to that mode, you end up having this mode, which is nothing like that. It isn't even a Battle Royale experience. So I do kind of get that. I absolutely see why people would rather have that Resurgence Quads available over this. But I just like that they actually went out there and tried something completely different with this mode, and it doesn't feel like most of the limited time modes that we've been getting in Warzone. They pushed the boundaries a little bit, and they created something that's actually unique within Warzone. And I think it would be great if they did this kind of stuff more often, because it does actually feel like a fairly fresh experience in a game that, to me at least, has started to feel pretty stale quite a long time ago. But I just wanted to make this video for those of you guys that maybe saw a bunch of negativity about this mode and therefore decided not to even try it out in the first place. I personally found enjoyment with it. I thought it played surprisingly well for a limited time mode in Warzone. And I think many of you guys will as well. But with that, that's going to wrap it up for my opinions at least. Of course, I'm interested in hearing from you guys in the comment section below. What do you think about Payload? And I'm also very curious for the people that dislike this, since there are a lot of people out there that seem to dislike it. What specifically about the mode do you not like? How would you like to see it improved if they were to maybe bring this back in the future? Please don't just leave a comment saying, oh, this mode is trash without at least trying to express why you feel that's the case. Because it would be nice to get some more constructive feedback. And I'm genuinely curious why so many people are pushing back against this. If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.